I know I say I love questions from all of you, but this is the proof. I had someone ask me if I have ever done a faux stitching with Cricut. I was like, no, I've never tried that. So I decided to give it a try. So I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm just going to put a shape in here to use as my template. This is the front of a card. If we wanted to do faux stitching like this, we can use text. I used this font. It is a systems font. So I downloaded this from Defont. Then what I did was just do a dash and a space. If you wanted really wide stitching, you could do that. If you wanted it tinier, you can do that. It is longer than my card, so let's... So I went 0 0.025 for my stitch height. So let's this way. It's good different depending on what um, font you're using. So play around and try some different fonts. So then space dash space dash all the way across. Then I'm just going to do a duplicate, which I can get up there. Then I'll rotate that one 90 degrees. This one does not need to be as long. So I'm going to go in here and take some of those out. Now to get things to line up in the corner, I'm going to select both of those and say align to the top and then align them to the left. And then I am going to group them. Grouping is going to make them work together as a group. And then I can duplicate the whole thing, flip it horizontally, and flip it vertically to make the other corner. So now I can take the two groupings and say, align the tops of those and then align those, let's say to the right. And that brought those all together. I could group the whole thing. Now I could take this and say, align that so it's perfectly centered on the card. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to actually cut the holes through this card base. So I'm going to use the combine button and say subtract. And you can see now there are actual holes. Let's zoom in. There are actual holes in this top piece or this yellow piece. So it's going to make a faux stitching. I just want to take a minute to review just some of the things you learned how to do in this video. If you want to learn even more about how to use Cricut Design Space, I highly recommend you purchase my Teach Me Cricut Design Space online course. This course is filled with over 20 videos. And if Cricut updates Design Space, I'll update the course videos. This means you'll always have the most current and accurate way to use Cricut Design Space right at your fingertips. This course is like downloading everything I know from using Cricut Design Space for years into one course. And here's how the card looks after it's cut. And you can see those little stitching lines. I did use my pin pen to kind of clean out those stitches. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.